Hey everybody, Dolphin Oracle here again, taking a look at um, an often requested item, installing Skype in MX14. It's really easy. Now there's a version of Skype in the repos, but you probably want the latest that's available, and that is available on the Skype.com website. So I'm going to go up here, I've got my Cupzilla browser open to Skype.com, go over here to Downloads, click on Downloads. I'll click on Computer, which I think it over is there. Choose your distribution. Now, and, um, MX14 is based on Debian 7. Multi-Arch, that's fine. Um, well, that's the one we want, actually. And now it's going to do its thing and download. Now, I've already downloaded it. It's not a big deal. You can down, download it again. I've already got it here in my Downloads folder. And all you need to do is click on it. It's going to open in the little GW package installer. And it actually, uh, by default, I believe there's one dependency that gets installed if you do this from scratch. Uh, I've installed and uninstalled it a couple of times. But you just click Install Package. The nice thing about GW is it'll satisfy the dependencies for you. It's a really fast install. There we go. Skype Debian was installed. We're done. So we click cancel. I'm going to close all this stuff out of the way. I'm going to crack open my whisker menu and type in Skype. It's in the internet uh, folder if you're a hunt and peck browser. And I'm going to sign in with my uh, Microsoft account. I have already have one. You can see it's, it's operating just fine. And now Skype's going to do its thing. It's going to pull my profile from my Microsoft account. And I'm using an external mic, so hopefully you can hear this. Now, I'm not a big Skype user, but Skype is installed and operating. And I'm going to use the Echo Test Sound service to uh, test the audio. After the beep, please record a message. Afterwards, your message will be played back to you. This is Dolphin Oracle testing the audio in my new Skype install. Anyway, so there you go. Apparently I can make a Skype call. Now once Skype's installed, you might have to do some configuring if you have multiple audio systems on your computer or multiple video streams on your computer. You can go into the Skype options here. You can click on the little S, hit options, or you can do a right click over here and click options. It's the same, it's the same menu. All sorts of, of, of options in here for for um, for style and, and, and everything. But the, what we're going to look at is sound devices. This is probably the most difficult thing if you have more than one device. And a lot of laptops, if you're using an external mic, you may get two microphones showing up. Now my system defaults back to um, it's, a, it's got an internal microphone, but it defaults to the port, the microphone port on my laptop when I have the microphone plugged in. So I want to leave the default in, and it actually with Alza, with Alza, this is actually the default that I want, uh, HW00, that's my, my card inside. Now you see it has HDMI, I do have HDMI on this laptop, it's not hooked up to anything right now, and Honestly, it's not going to work for sound capture anyway. Um, so anyway, uh, you'll want to make sure you know which, what your microphone is. And using the, def in MX, if you stick with the default device, it should work um, just like that. Speakers, if you want to con con convert different speakers by default, you can you can select your, your different speakers. My... Um, I'm just, I just kept everything with the default, but you can force audio to... Uh, to different ports here. See, I have the HDMI here and the analog. My analog card is, uh, this is an ALZA designation, HW00, that's the default card. But you can pick uh, whatever you have configured on your system, and I would just try to make sure that you have your audio for Skype matching 
your system audio and which usually it should be default I've never had to change anything to get Skype to work on a couple of different computers uh, ringing you can for again you can force it to a different sound device for ringing uh, if you know what you're doing uh, otherwise kick stay, stay with device default you can find out what your different device code numbers are by going into Alza mixer and I'm going to run the terminal type in ALSA mixer. This is the easiest way. There are other ways. But you can look at F6 to select a card and if you have more than one it'll list them out. I only have one because it's the Intel drives the HDMI and everything. So anyway, this is where you go to configure stuff. Same with the video devices. If you have more, one, more than one video device, you can select it here on this webcam. All I've got is the HP webcam, but some people have more than one. Particularly if you're using a, uh, you, if you have an internal webcam and a, you know, better external webcam. Um, anyway, it's not too tough to set up. Uh, but you do need to, sometimes if you have hardware that's beyond the default, you may need to uh, know a little something about your hardware. If you have any problems, throw up a post in the forums. I'm sure somebody will help you out. I didn't have any, besides the little mute issue I had, uh, I didn't have any problems whatsoever. Uh, I recommend checking, cracking open the mixer here, and um, on the select controls tab, just check everything that you can. By default, there's only a couple items checked. I checked all the capture items. Um, and you can go into capture here and make sure that it's that is not muted here and that also that your microphones are not muted um, both I have both a microphone and an internal microphone down here um, so I had to make sure all that stuff was unmuted it, it was on my device and I really don't know why um, in antics I didn't have this problem so I'm, I'm wondering if maybe I was fooling around with something that might have been me but if you had trouble with your audio check and see if make sure everything is, um, is muted if anything's muted Anyway, that's installing Skype on MX14. Quick and dirty, easy peasy. Tips, tricks, how to's. Head over to mepuscommunity.org slash MX or put up a post at forum.mepuscommunity.org. This is Dolphin Oracle signing off. Have a great day.